Okay, guys, we are in week two of really working just pretty much only on our projects. Um, I wanted to point out a few things about your benchmark and then your upcoming midterm proposal, which is a little bit far away, but I want you to be thinking about it. You're on the calendar. So there is a calendar right here on the web page um, that shells you when all these different things are due. So your benchmark, the date was set as October 1st. You determined what that thing was going to be that you met for your benchmark, and you should have shown that to your advisor. They should know what your benchmark is going to be. But we are right here. Okay, you'll be coming back to school here on the 22nd. Let's see if I can get this to right here on the 22nd. And the benchmark is October 1st, which is a week and a half away. Okay, so you need to be working really hard towards those benchmarks. If you're not going to meet that benchmark, you can adjust that benchmark, okay? But you need to be doing that here pretty soon this week and change that benchmark if you're, you're worried you're not going to meet it. But don't change it too much or you won't get done with your project. But if you need to, you know, you said you're going to have three things done and you're only going to have two, adjust it and do that now this week if you need to do that. Also, on the home page, I have added, let's see if we can get back to the home page here. Maybe I have to get out of that. Probably. There we go. Okay, so here's your October 1st benchmark deadline. Then October 19th to 21st, you have your midterm proposals. I wanted to make sure you were aware that on that proposal, we have now included a list of exactly what needs to be on there. So here's your list right here of what you need to include. And I want to point out that it says on your competencies, you need to show evidence of how you met them. So that evidence would be proof, is another word for saying that, that you've got some things done. So let's say you're creating a website and you wanted to have the website at least started. You should show a picture of that, um, or you should actually show that website. If you're building something, you should be documenting what you're doing. You should be taking pictures as you go, so you can use that as evidence. If you're um, drawing something, you should be taking pictures of that. If you're um, doing research, you better have some research to show that you did that. If you're doing a video and you got one of your in interviews done, you should show just one little clip of the interview or a picture of you doing the interview. So make sure you are documenting your process so you have evidence to show that you're getting these things done. And that will make your presentation so much easier later on. I also wanted to point out also on the website now, is grading expectations in a really clear format, I think that will help you. Um, so these are the things that have to be included. Now, do we want you to say, oh, I need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things included or six things included. And so now you make a PowerPoint using seven slides. No, okay, think out of the box a little bit. Try to do a little more than that. Try to be creative. Don't just, don't just, um, say here's what they wanted so here's exactly what i'm going to give them think out by the side the box and make yourself stand out a little bit okay good luck i hope your project's going well once again i want to remind you if you need help you're stuck on a competency you can't get somewhere and your advisor is stuck too or you just can't um, get enough time with your advisor and you want to work on this sometime after school please let me know just send me an email and i will make sure i am available for you so good luck guys keep doing a great job